What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement bringing you a brand new action figure review today from Star Wars The Black Series. We are taking a look at the Walmart exclusive Imperial version of Crosshair. This is of course from The Bad Batch. We all knew this figure was coming for a very long time. I'm super happy to finally have it in hand. Of course it is mostly just a repaint of Crosshair, which is an excellent figure but it does actually have a couple differences between the two. Of course, I'll go over all of that later in the review, but let's just jump straight into the figure here. Of course, we can see it is in the Galaxy packaging. We do get the dark red Bad Batch there. It says Crosshair Imperial. There is the side art image looking very badass. I love this armor for Crosshair, especially that helmet, and I just think they absolutely already nailed the green there. Moving around to the back of the box here, you can pause it and read the bio. You can see the nice bigger image of the side art. Crosshair is number nine in the line. We've got the logo on the side here. On the bottom of the box, the barcode and all of that stuff. Nothing on the top. So let's go ahead. We're going to crack this bad boy open. We'll take a look at the accessories and then the figure itself. Crosshair only comes with what the original figure included as well. So we get the sniper rifle here, which is actually kind of really huge, but he still can shoulder it pretty well. And it still separates here at the barrel for weapon storage on the backpack. But yeah, it still looks good. The sculpt work here is pretty show accurate. Uh, however, there are still no paint apps to be had on this piece. Moving along to the backpack, it is also the same backpack. However, now they've included some more paint apps and of course it's cast in a darker plastic, but you can see down to the battle damage there, they are the same. However, we do get some clean paint application right there with the red and blue paints and everything else seems to be in order here. I do really love the detail that they put into these figures. Even if they don't have a ton of paint on them, you can just see that there's so many scratches in the sculpt work there that if you were to paint them yourself, it would just look fantastic. And as far as the weapon storage goes, you can see there's a peg here for the barrel of the sniper rifle. And then I really just, you know, I kind of just put this piece in here mine's a little bit warped out of the package but you know something like this they both peg in there and it fits really well and it's nice and sturdy they don't want to fall out or anything like that so really nice work there but of course we already knew this because all of these accessories came with the first crosshair figure but now let's go ahead and jump into imperial crosshair and here is Imperial Crosshair out of the packaging, looking like a total badass. Definitely one of the coolest members of the Bad Batch and has the most interesting arc, if you ask me. The switch to the Imperial side of things is pretty intriguing to me, and I hope we get it explored a little bit further as well in the second season. But yeah, this is the Imperial look of the character. Not much changes other than the helmet and the armor. Of course this figure does have some minor inaccuracies to it as well which we will go over in the details it's mainly the shoulder pads i think that this figure looks absolutely badass the new sculpted helmet looks wonderful so let's just go ahead and jump into the details i guess i should mention here he does also include a sidearm i forgot it's totally it's already in the holster in the package so I missed it, but it is just the same clone blaster we've seen a million times, so nothing really new to go over there. But let's start out with the helmet here. Take a look at this brand new sculpted helmet. The green just pops right off of that visor and the vents down here. There's also some really clean silver paint going on for the mouth grill and the chin area. The rangefinder here is also articulated so it can go down. Although in the show, this piece is actually translucent plastic. Here it is just a gray plastic. But yeah, there's some nice sculpted dings and dents. A little bit more silver paint on the side here. Some more scrapes going on on the back. Looking very good, very show accurate. I think they absolutely nailed the helmet here. And of course it is removable and you do have good old crosshair underneath here. This is of course a non-battle damaged look so maybe I would have liked them to change up the head here as well like we see him later in the show but honestly I think this figure suffers from concept art syndrome where at one point in time it was just the same armor but black but then later they changed some minor details in the show but it was too late for the figure 
So I think that's why we see the inaccurate costume details, particularly on this figure. It was just probably too late, which is unfortunate, but I still think that the idea of Imperial Crosshair gets across very well. But yeah, the head looks pretty clean there. Nice clean paint apps. The gray hair is a nice touch as well. And just for some side by side, nothing really different between the two. Although the new crosshair looks a little shinier. I don't know what this is, but yeah, there you go. Moving down the chest here is also brand new sculpting, which if we bring in crosshair side by side, you can see the differences between the two there. So this is a little bit more accurate. The chest does change and you can see they added some very nice battle damage to it as well. Unpainted of course, but it is there. But the lower half here is the same. The legs are the same. The holster is just modified here because he no longer has the strap on the armor. The shoulder pads here on Imperial Crosshair, obviously in the show he doesn't have this long piece and the 99 is also gone on the pads themselves but here they just chose to paint them all black but again i still think the idea of imperial crosshair is here and still looks great even with the minor inaccuracies the gauntlets on the arm look pretty good everything is awesome here we all know that the original crosshair figure is fantastic you can see we do also have some differences on the back with what's included on the belt here I'm sure these are like maybe mines or something like that. Uh, not quite sure off the top of my head, but nice additional sculpt work and painted as well. And the legs down here at the bottom are the same as they were before, down to the sculpted details there. So they look awesome. Imperial Crosshair detail wise has some minor inaccuracies, but I think overall still a badass looking figure and it's going to look great on the shelf. So now let's go ahead and dive into the articulation. Starting out here with the helmet on, you can look up that far and look down a decent amount as well. Of course, you do get plenty of side to side. He's got the double neck peg articulation, so that's wonderful. 360s, no problem. And with the helmet off, crosshair looks up very far and looks down a decent amount as well. Great head articulation here. Shoulders go all the way up here. Crosshair has some really fantastic articulation. We do get full rotation of the arm. We do have butterfly joints on the inside of the figure. The single jointed elbow here, ooh, more than 90 degrees, so good. We also do have a swivel there. And for the hand, we have rotation and goes down and up. So vertical hinge, awesome. And then we also get the gripping hand that rotates and has the horizontal hinge there. Of course, we all knew this. Crosshair and all the Bad Batch figures have some of the best articulation in the Black Series. Crunch-wise, we can go forward a decent amount here and back pretty far as well. We do have rotation and plenty of side to side. For the legs themselves, you can see that Crosshair kicks up very far, can really do the splits, has a pretty decent kickback, a single jointed knee here that gives you 90 degrees. Unfortunately, the knee pad issue still persists. Please, Hasbro, take this, glue it right here, please. We get swivel, and finally at the feet, they do go down a decent amount, go up a decent amount, and of course have ankle pivot. So yeah, definitely benefits from having modern Black Series articulation and taking a look at Vice Admiral Rampart and this back to back, it's just like, yeah, there's no comparison. Even Black Series figures from a couple years ago just feel so dated now with all the improvements that they've made and Imperial Crosshair here is a shining example of that. So now we're gonna go ahead and set him down and now let's do some comparisons I'll show you how he scales. First up, we'll start out with the Bad Batch version of himself and, of course, Hunter here. And now we've got Wrecker and Tick. My previous review here, which was Vice Admiral Rampart, and another review that Justin did, we've got the Imperial Clone Shock Trooper. So here are all three of the Walmart-exclusive Bad Batch figures together. And yeah, just a great group of figures. I'm honestly happy to have all three. And we've got a couple of elite squad troopers here. Jumping over to model kits, we've got the Shadow Stormtrooper and the Mandalorian. 
And last but certainly not least, the SH Figure Arts Tank Pilot and the Mafex First Order Stormtrooper. And so there you have it. That was my review of the Walmart exclusive Imperial Crosshair. Definitely a banger of a figure that should be picked up. Hopefully you were able to get one. If not, I have seen reports that it has been showing up in stores recently. So get out and get on that hunt. Because look at how awesome Imperial Crosshair looks with three elite squad troopers. This is just such a satisfying image. Of course, I've got them a little beefed up with some John Walker custom weapons that I painted myself. Crosshair is actually holding a smaller, better scaled version of his own rifle there, which I would highly recommend because I think it just fits so much better and looks that much more accurate to the show. So definitely check out those customs from John Walker. The articulation is great. The details are good. Even though there are a few minor inaccuracies, I can honestly look past them with ease. They nailed the helmet, and I think that was the most important part. So yeah, if you have the original crosshair figure, you pretty much know what to expect out of this one. But if you don't have the other crosshair, you're in for a treat here. So pick this figure up if you can. I definitely recommend it. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. Consider joining our membership for only 99 cents a month, you can become a member of the Basement Dweller Army. You get some cool emojis to use in the chat. And you also get a Clone Trooper name badge next to your name that changes based on how long you stay subscribed. Check that out. There is a link in the description there. I'm Nate from Out of the Basement. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.